Okay, so I'm doing this video to unbox an Amazon Fire Stick Unlocked that you bought for me. Um, I've had people buy some through the mail and wondering how to navigate through it. So I'll show you from the very beginning to the very end how to navigate it. See the Fire Stick there. First off, you open up the box. In the box, you're going to get a remote control, the actual Fire Stick. Then on the bottom, you got some cords. This is the USB power adapter. This is the actual power plug that goes into the wall. And you get a little HDMI extension cable. Um, not necessary to use the extension cable. If your HDMI ports are set up um, in the back of your TV and your TV is mounted on the wall, sometimes the fire stick is too long to fit between the TV and the wall. So you use the extension stick for that. So basically, um, on initial setup, you take this cord out of the black wrapper. There's a little Android, uh, they call it a mini USB on the side of the Amazon Fire Stick. Oh, obviously you take the Fire Stick out of the plastic. Fire Stick out of the plastic. And you put the little mini USB cord into the side of the Fire Stick right there. Then the USB end goes into the power adapter, and the power adapter goes into the wall. Uh, there also comes two batteries in the remote control as well. Um, so you should be all set to go. Uh, Amazon recommends that you do use this def default power supply and USB cord that comes with it because there's special circuitry in there that powers the Fire Stick. So don't just um, go to the dollar store and buy an Amazon charger, uh, a USB charger. It's probably not going to work to power the Fire Stick. So put all those things together and I uh, will begin the demonstration on the TV. Okay, so once you get everything hooked up, you uh, plug in the Fire Stick and you get the boot up screen. You see Amazon here. And it's going to come on with Fire TV Stick on the boot up. This whole process of booting up takes about 60 seconds. Uh, obviously, once you got it hooked up, it's a one-time thing because it pretty much just stays on after this. So you won't have to go through the whole boot-up procedure again. Uh, you see it loading home right there. Um, this is if you when you buy the Fire Stick and it's not unlocked, this is going to be the regular home screen that you see to purchase movies and TV shows and whatnot. Give it a couple more seconds and it'll load the off uh, of what we call the Fire Star screen. And this is where you get your unlock settings. The first box up there you see is Amazon Fire TV. That's where you go back to those um, paid settings or whatever. Um, oh, also, I forgot to mention when you get to this Fire Star screen, your remote is not going to be programmed to your Fire Stick. So you're going to have to get on your remote and press the home button, which is the middle button on the top row of buttons just hold it down for 10 seconds just count 1 1000 2 1000 3 1000 4 1000 5 1000 6 1000 7 1000 8 1000 9 1000 10 1000 release the home button and in a few seconds about 10 more seconds you'll see on the lower right corner of the screen it's going to say a new remote has been connected so we'll wait for that and there it is new remote connected in the lower right corner of the screen once that's connected, you could um, move around with your navigation button on the remote. The Amazon Fire TV, like I said, that's where you go if you wanted to actually purchase TV shows and whatnot. File settings is where you go change things like um, your network connection settings and the time of day and everything. And also I'll show you something in the Fire TV settings in a minute. ES File Explorer, that's like an internet browser for the Fire Stick. Uh, really don't use it because you got computers for that. And Kodi, Kodi is the outlet where you get to view everything. So before we go into Kodi, since this is the first time you're using your Fire Stick, you're going to have to go into Fire TV Home, and it'll tell you that it's unable to connect to the network because it was connected to my home network for me to program it. You're going to have to connect it to your network. So you go over to Go to Network Settings, press it. It's looking for all the available networks. You find your network in the list, hit it, and then you enter your password. Use the remote to navigate between the letters and enter your password. There you see it's um, saving the network and stuff. Boom, you're now connected to the network. Once again, it's loading home on the Amazon unlock. I mean, the Amazon lock screen. All you do after it loads, brings back up this home screen, is you press home on your remote and it's going to take you back to the Fire Star screen. <clears throat> In this Fire Star screen, I purposely stretched the screen out a little bit. You see how the number on the upper right corner, the time is a little cut off. I did that so um, if yours comes in and it's not lined up, I try to line them all up correctly, but uh, different TVs get different lineups. So if it's not lined up correctly, you go in Fire TV settings, you go to displays and sounds, the first one, and then you come down to display, the second option. 
hit it and then calibrate display the bottom option and then the, these arrows you have to press the down arrow or the up arrow to move them to where the tips of the arrows are exactly on the inside of your TV so I got the tips of the arrows well in inside the TV hit the middle button to accept now I back out of here back out of here back out of here and back on my fire screen you see the time is now displaying correctly in the corner the screen actually fits so now we're gonna get to the good stuff Cody this is where your hub is for everything you move over there um, this is where you're gonna get all your free TVs movies streaming sports and it, as a bonus it's even got free music I don't know for all of you familiar with SoundCloud you could go down to SoundCloud look for any song you want if your surround sound is hooked up to your TV get a nice uh, music experience there it's also got some karaoke on there and everything haven't tried it yet but uh, I've heard people tell me it's pretty fun we're gonna move on to videos though this is where all the TVs and movies are you move over to these videos and you see on the screen right now um, right below videos there's files and add-ons below that there are five shortcuts to the quote-unquote most popular channels on the um, on Cody quite frankly for everything I do dealing with TV and movies I use Exodus that one has got like 99 percent of everything I've ever searched for it's on Exodus the other channels the Velocity, the Salt, the Royal We and the Phoenix they show off some stuff as well but um there's nothing that I haven't found on Exodus yet below videos you see the files and the add-ons under add-ons has a list of all your channels including those five shortcuts that are below there so I'm gonna go to add-ons and it brings up the list there's 27 channels on this page right now you can go through there and you see on the right side there's a brief description of what's on that channel Exodus is there again so you can access Exodus either from here or the shortcut Film on TV, Ice Films, Navi, NBC Sports Live Extra, and I purposely waited um, till nighttime to do this to show off the sports on here because uh, you have to wait till a, there's a game going to get a stream. So this app here, Pro Sports, is like NFL Sunday Direct Ticket for everything for baseball, hockey, and basketball, all four of the major American sports. You come under here, hit Pro Sports. You see in the lower right corner it's working, it's loading the list. Then it breaks it down into NBA game, NHL games, NFL games, MLB games. So NBA season's on right now. I think NHL season is too. But uh, I hit that, and it's gonna tell, give me a list of games today. All the red ones that say completed. Then there's the green ones that say in progress. Gives you a time that they started. They all started at 8:30, 9:30. I'm gonna go to the Cavaliers and Kings game because that started at 10 o'clock and it's now about 11 o'clock at night. So um, this one is still in progress. You just choose the game, press your middle button, and it's gonna give you a list of sites that are streaming the game. The top one, Room U HD, and in parentheses it says US I IP only. That means you have to pretty much be in America to get it. So we're going to go with that one, and it's going to stream this game in high definition. There you see it's opening the stream, and there it is, they the king, right on cue. Streaming in 1080p, high definition quality. We'll turn on the volume a little bit. Oh, wow. Cavs getting crushed. But anyway. Um, that is the streaming sports that works all season for like I said when the NFL comes on better than NFL Sunday Dark Ticket you get all the games everything so we are gonna back up out of the sports for a minute yeah so like I was saying it breaks it down to NBA NHL NFL and MLB games watch whichever game you want whenever you want as they're streaming live also you can go down here two streams lower is the sports devil this is where all your pay-per-view boxing and uh, MMA fights all the pay-per-view stuff comes on also if you're a soccer fan cricket fan whatever sports you want from overseas is all here under live sports now all these streams uh, stream something differently this Bundesliga streams does soccer strictly soccer I'm not sure what dim sports does but first row sports EU this is the one I use the most when I'm not using major American sports anyway and then here you got a it broke down into categories it does NFL on here as well you get all the NFL games here as well but the, it doesn't come in in 1080p quality this one comes in a little grainier then here's the boxing WWE and UFC fights you could go into that stream right there and see WWE Smackdown is on WWE NXT I'm not sure what that is but that's all going on if there's going to be a UFC fight on at the time too you go here obviously and it'll tell you what time the UFC fights on and you go on the day of and it shows you the stream for the UFC and uh, I'm trying to work these links here and they're not working that means that the event is actually not on if the event was on it would bring it up but it must be over these here don't give you the time that the events over but it started at like eight o'clock 
now 11 o'clock I imagine that one is over so that's your sports all your streaming sports and then we're gonna move here to Exodus like I said this is the Mac daddy of it all to me if you're go if you gonna watch movies and TV shows you go into Exodus you could access it like I said earlier through the shortcut or through right there Exodus then brings you to this screen where it asks you if you want to watch movies TV shows the channels option only gives you the sky channels which are they're out of Britain I believe okay you can go to genres it breaks it down by action comedy romance whatever you want there um, next one is year if you know the year the movie was made or you want to browse a certain year of movies that were released you go to the year and that one gives you there if you know who's starring in the movie you go to people and type in the stars of the movie you'll see all their movies if you go to certificates it shows you all the movies by rating G rating through R through NC 17 whatever ratings the movie was you could view that then the next one is featured people watching most popular and most voted all four of those categories are pretty much the same thing they're like the movies that are what's hot right now and those actually include a lot of the movies that are in theaters right now and uh, I gotta warn you that movies that are in theaters right now most of the time they come up as cam quality as somebody sitting in the movie theater with a cell phone filming the movie so it doesn't look very good but uh, the longer you wait the better the quality you're gonna get and by the time the movie's released on DVD you're gonna get a DVD quality copy on here I'm um, gonna show you some examples of that in a second then you go to box office and this lists every movie ever made in the order of highest to lowest how much money you pulled in the box office then Oscar winners, uh, movies that won Oscars obviously, in theaters, movies that are still in movie theaters. Latest movies are the latest movies that are streaming on here. Then you can save my list, people search. And then my favorite at the bottom is search. If you know the name of the movie you're looking for, just come down here to search, type it in, you'll find it. I'm going to move back up to the box office. This is one of my favorites because I'm a Star Wars junkie and the number one grossing movie of all time ever in the history of movies is Star Wars Episode 7 so you see it the first movie second highest grossing movie of all time is Avatar third grossing movie is Titanic fourth is Jurassic World Avengers and Dark Knight you can go down the list right now the Star Wars uh, movie I saw it like three times in the theater and the version on here is a cam copy it's really crappy so we're not even gonna view that I'm gonna go to something like Avatar is a really clear copy I watched that the other day because I couldn't remember that movie from so long ago Dark Knight was another good one. I'm going to stream Dark Knight because it comes in a nice 1080p quality. So so does everything but the Star Wars on the screen. Star Wars is the only one that comes in in grainy cam quality. But I'm going to load the Dark Knight. You hit the movie you want. It's searching all the providers. And all these providers are like in Europe and stuff. That's how they get around the American copyright system. Because Europe obviously isn't as strict as America on copywriting. So it's lo looking through all the sources. And there it is. It gives you a list. This list right here is all these sites are sh uh, streaming the Dark Knight. If you look on the right side of the movie, it tells you what quality it is. It's an HD, SD. Obviously, HD is high definition. SD is standard definition. Um, sometimes there's a 1080p option on there as well. That takes a while to buffer, so you got to have really fast internet for that. Um, right now, i got the Bright House package of $35 a month with 100 megabit, and it streams anything I want on here. So I recommend Bright House highly. I chose the top one, now it's loading the stream, this is going to take about 20 seconds, so it took even less than that, about 7 seconds there. And we have the Dark Knight in perfect high definition quality. I'm going to fast forward into the movie about 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 30 minutes right there to see the quality of the movie. And obviously since my camera's recording, it's going to downgrade the quality a little bit, but it's pretty clear. I got the volume down, but... This is the scene where the Joker shaking down the mobsters. And that's it for the, the movies. Uh, this is a full movie, obviously. Pretty awesome there. And then um, I'm going to show you the search. You go down to search. Now type in with the remote a bit of pain in the butt moving letter to letter. But fortunately there is an option to download the Amazon Fire TV app to your phone, Android or iPhone. There's an Amazon Fire TV app that you can download and you can type on that so you don't have to move around from letter to letter. But uh, I'm going to look for, let's see, an old movie that everybody likes. I can't think of anything old really. Uh, I'm going to go with Half Baked. It ain't really old. That was made in like 2000, I think, but it's one of my favorite movies of all time. But it's kind of, it's a little bit obscure so I don't know maybe 
it'll impress some people that they actually find it on here if I learn how to type half baked and you hit done to search you see working in the lower right corner it's searching for the movie half baked and there it is made in 1998 wow it's older than I thought I thought it was like 2000 and it finds <clears throat> anything with half baked in it or movies related to it sometimes too it fills up the screen with options smoked and a bunch of the, um, Jim Brewer movies because he was in half baked but old school movie let's hit it see if it works and the quality of this one as well And there it is. It's got two up top in high definition, and then it starts the standard definition. We're going to load the high definition version and see what it looks like. This one's taking the full 30 seconds to load, like I said. Well, maybe not. Every time It looks like every time I talk, it the movie loads. So, here is Half Baked again in perfect high definition quality I'm gonna fast forward about 30 minutes into this one as well see what it looks like in the middle oh the jail scene love this part he said being in jail is like running through a cornfield backwards <laughs> I can sit here and watch this movie all day so let me move on that's basically how movies works TV shows it works exactly the same as movies you go down to TV shows, and it breaks it down by genre or certificates. And networks is a nice one here. Networks you go to, and it breaks it down actually by channel. You see it's A, N, E, A, B, C, A, M, C. Now keep in mind, these are not live streams, but this shows like all the series that the channel shows. Like all you Scandal fans, you're going to want to come to ABC because it's got all the Scandal on there you can handle. It's got every single episode of Scandal, and this goes all the way back to when Scandal started to... The most current episodes of Scandal. I mean, it's once the live episode airs, within five minutes after the episode airing, there's a stream on there of the latest episode. You see, there's Scandal. You hit it, and it breaks it down by season. Season one, two, three, four, five. Go into the fifth season, and obviously, when season six comes back on, season six will be up there. And like I said, uh, after every episode airs that week, you um you're able to view it right on the spot. Um, I am not a Scandal fan, so I don't know which one of these episodes do what, but I'm going to load one and see. Same process as the movies, it looks through the providers in Europe. And you see Movie Storm is consistently coming up as the last provider, that site must be moving slow tonight. You could cancel at any point while it's looking, because it's already looked through a bunch of providers, so it's going to find streams and there it is HD all over the place the first 10 options are HD choose the top one let's stream some scandal loading it's supposed to take 30 seconds again took about three seconds because I started talking and there it is scandal perfect HD quality once again fast forward a couple minutes in about 20 minutes in and scandal continues so that's Scandal. Um, that's under the networks. What's really cool about the networks as well is not only does it have ABC, NBC, all that. It's got some BBC channels for if you British TV fans. It has HBO. It has Cinemax. It has Showtime. It has a Netflix channel. Anything that Netflix has is on here as well. So you can save yourself the nine bucks a month on Netflix with this. We cancel our Netflix subscription today. I found this channel right here. It's got all the Netflix originals. The Orange is the New Black. That new Fuller House that just came out. Everybody's watching. Uh, a lot of people have been asking about The Walking Dead. That's on multiple channels here. It's on Netflix and I think a and &E, a &E or something like that. House of Cards. All these Netflix originals. They're on here. Every movie that Netflix plays is on here. It's uh, pretty nice. You can stream any of those. And like I said, it's got Showtime on there. TV Land Travel Channel, so that's nice. It's a total of 59 channels on here. I could back out, and then it's got airing today. Shows that are going to be airing today. 
that are like really popular, like um, me and the wifey following the American Crime Story, the OJ thing. That was that's I think that came on yesterday, but it's on the airing today. And I'm gonna show you this. This is a good one because it's a current season. It shows you that it's only six episodes in. So like I said, right after that episode aired, it showed the original air date was March the eighth. Today's March the ninth, so it aired yesterday, and it's on there like five minutes after the episode airs on TV. So that's pretty cool. So uh, we're going to back out and um, TV shows. I'm going to go down and show you some search. And what can I search for? Old school show. Um, I'm going to go with not super old. About the mid end of the 80s, mid 90s maybe. Knight Rider. Of my show back in the day. I used to dream of owning kit. Parents were nice enough to buy me the little model kit that talked. The thing was awesome. But let's do a search for Knight Rider to see if it finds it. And people have hit me with more obscure shows than this too. And finds it. It even got the, the Knight Rider from the original. It's got the new one that they had in 08 for like a little while. They got some Team Knight Rider I never heard of. Hoff on the record, David Hasselhoff stuff. Let's go back to the original, the old school, the bomb Knight Rider. It tells you, boom, Knight Rider was on for four seasons. Thought it was more than that, but apparently four seasons. And then Night of the Phoenix was the first episode, part one. Night of the Phoenix, part two. And let's choose an episode to watch. Not a drop to drink. Sounds like a winner to me. Aired in 19, wow, early 90s. November 5th, 1982 is when it aired. So obviously you're not going to get any high definition in this particular show because it's so old and it wasn't filmed in high def. It says high definition on it. That means that they tried to remaster it, but I don't know how it's going to look. Let's take a look. It's obviously not going to be taking up full screen. It had two black bars on the side. And there it is. Night Rider kit. Fast forward into this. Find me an episode with Car on there. Car versus Kit. That was the best episodes. But yeah, there you go. You see Knight Rider playing. You got every season, every episode. Knight Rider. Any other t old school TV show you could think of. And so that is it. I've shown you the sports. I've shown you the... Movies, I've shown you the TV, they're all good. This uh, channel Pier right here is actually pretty awesome too. This got some live streaming stuff on it. All channels right here on the channel Pier. This is for if you, um, if you want to watch, like, find some news and stuff. WGN Chicago, for all my Chicago folks out there, you can watch that. ABC News, this is international news, obviously. The other day I was on here and I found something really awesome for my Florida folks. They have WFTV in Orlando, so that's as close as we get to local news. Anything else I look for on the internet pretty much to find out what's going on in Tampa. But WFTV is somewhere on here. Gonna make me look like a liar when I can't find it, but hold on. This video about to be real. There it is, WFTV Channel 9. This is Orlando. And this one comes in in HD, so it's pretty nice, too. You get to watch the news in HD. Unfortunately, it's on a commercial right now, so I ain't going to sit here and make this video an hour just so we see a little bit of news. But that's it. Like I said, I've shown you it all. I've shown you the live streaming TV. There's the live streaming sports, the movie search, the TV search. Hopefully, this video, at uh, almost 30 minutes long, explains everything you need to know about unboxing and setting up the Fire Stick Unlocked. Call me if you need any technical support on it, and or if you need to order some, you know, I mail them out to you as well. Let me know. Thank you for watching.